Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'll teach you on how you can create a gasset plate connection in Revit and also Advanced Steel. Now, don't forget to like my videos if you really like what I'm doing here and make sure that you check my website skillmaxcard.com. Without wasting time, let's get started in this lesson. So here we are, we are in Revit right here and we are going to work on this particular node so that we can see how we can create a gasset plate connection here. If I just switch to advanced steel, this is the same structure and I'll also show you how you can create the same connection on this particular joint. Now let's get back to Revit and here we are. So in Revit to get started, just make sure that you go to steel tab there, then click the small arrow right there and make sure that you load all these connections. Now you can select the particular gasset plate that you want, but to make it faster, just select all these connections and click on add and click on okay. So all these connections are loaded within here. All right, now adding the gasset plate connection is quite simple here. You can go to still here and pick the connection and select the, you know, the parts here. Alternatively, you can start by selecting everything here and just go to still there and click on connection and you are going to have the generic connection as you can see from here. Now you can see that it's selected in blue there. So go to properties right there and now you see that you are going to see four diagonals middle gusset. Now before I even pick this one, let me just click outside. You see that you need to, for this connection to work, you need to split in between here so that you can have you know the four angles there that's how now automatically so it's going to pick that particular gasset plate so to split again i can just test it on this one it's very simple just type sl on your keyboard in revit and you can just pick it like that you see that it's going to split as you can see so it's very simple to split in revit the shortcut is sl on your keyboard that's the default shortcut I'll hold Ctrl Z to undo this because I already have this. Now I'll go back and select the connection, the generic connection that I added, then go back there and now automatically it's going to pick that one, select on it. And now click outside, you see that you have that connection. It looks ugly. We are going to change it just in a moment. All right, now if you don't see this particular connection, make sure that you are at fine level of detail. If you are at cost level of detail like this, you are not going to see the connection. If you are at medium, you equally not see it. So make sure that you are at fine level of detail. All right, now let's get to advanced steel to see how we can get to this stage. So I'll go to advanced steel right here. Again, we have the four parts there. All right, this model was just imported in advanced steel from Revit. All right, I have a number of videos on how to do that on my channel, so check it out. Now in advanced steel, I just need to go to extended modeling. Okay, actually go to home tab and make sure that the connection vault is activated. It's already here. So if I just click there, it disappears. I click there, it appears. Expand the connection vault. Let me just here. Let me just drag it here. Now under the connection vault, just make sure that you come to general bracings. Then under the general bracings, just go down. You can see that under the general bracings, we have four diagonals, middle, gusset, plate. So pick this one. So you can switch under these and just counter check until you go to general bracings. Then just scroll down until you find this one, select on it. Now, once you select on it, you can see it says select objects. You can just select one by one, select this one, right click, go to the next one, right click, this one, right click, and that one, right click. And you are going to have a default, you know, gasset plate connection. Now, let me first of all close the properties here and minimize this one and just move it by the side. So I'll just zoom in using the wheel on my mouse. You can select uh, these parts here and just hold the wheel and shift on my mouse to orbit like that and you can see that you have that particular connection by default all right i'll escape here and i just want to go back to revit so that we see how we can now make adjustments so i'll go back to revit right here now to make those adjustments it's easy just select on the connection click on edit 
right then i'll just duplicate you can rename it here click ok and now you just need to go to edit right here okay once you click on edit you come here and you see that i can now zoom in here i can orbit to check what i want to change here you can see that i need to make some changes here in terms of the size maybe for the for the bots now what usually happens is that if the bot is quite big it touches there it doesn't go it doesn't go up to the bottom there because the size is quite big so here the properties are very simple the gasset plate connection is the simplest if you go to the gasset plate you can change the thickness settings for the gap some of these settings are okay you can set end distance or gap between diagonal you can see it changes from there so i'll use this one and now we have the first diagonal second third fourth the center point so you can even check from here two three four you have two uh, three four and five and the distance here you can specify it then reference for the distance you can specify it reference for the diagonal or reference to bot so if i change this one let me put 100 you see how it's it will behave click there you see that it will now move here from this point it expands all the way up to there so if you want to specify or change you know you want to make this plate bigger okay if you want to make this plate bigger you can use this one if i said 200 just click like that you see that it goes like that so i'll maintain the 50 okay i'm happy with what i have so that is under the gasset plate you can change the size for this one using these options here now if i just go to projection i can go to the next one i think the projection again i'll just leave it at zero i can just activate that one and just put one if i say maybe maybe 20 from there i just need to click somewhere else okay you can see that it changes like that right so i'll just put zero there click there and now go to bots very very important now for the bots make sure that you start with the bot type and pick the metric one which is x or x pick this one now you can pick the actual diameter maybe if i want a 10 or a 12 you can see that it has even fixed that issue which we had there then i can change the bot grade from there so i'm happy with the 4.6 now the bot distances this one is quite you know self-explanatory okay you see we have diagonal one maybe up to four okay the number of lines so under the board distances we have the connection type the boards if you want the worlds you can just change to worlds you know for this particular one it will change to world okay but i just want to have the boards all right you can see that this is the first one bot distance this is the second one bot distance the third and the fourth all right so i'm on this one then the diagonal distance diagonal board you can specify there if you want maybe 40 you can just click there you can see that it changes from there but i want the 35 the way it was so i'll leave it okay so these again are self-explanatory you can change all this so i'm not going to change anything here because the settings are okay for me intermediate distance you can change it's something that has happened here it's supposed to be 65 the intermediate distance here the spacing between this one and that one so i'll maintain the same settings for all these okay so for the world again i just have six that is uh, it should be for the site okay so you can change this one to site so i don't want to use that one but i'll leave everything as is then i'll just click on ok click ok and you see that it's going to be fixed there and you can see that we have the gasset plate there properly done all right now let's go to advanced steel we see how we can quickly do it in advanced steel for advanced steel it's almost there all right so what i'll simply do is to just double click this box we have the properties we have that one for diagonal center plate gasset plate again you can change it from here settings for the gap the end distance or gap between diagonal i'll leave the defaults i'll just go to the most important ones distance diagonal one center as you can see now you can start you know playing with the you can start playing with these distances if this one maybe let me just have it at 60 click somewhere else 
you can see that it changes from here let me just zoom in there so now all these we can even check from the numbers there you can change all these now i just want to focus on uh bots okay so you can see that i can change this one now i think i did i use a 12 i can change from there the bot grade you can change now bot distances you can also play with this one the intermediate i think it was 65 i can use the same from here now this has to be changed for all these 65 go to this one 65 and the last but not the least 65 so that you have a uniform intermediate distances as you can see it's changing in the background you can go to this one a uh, distance board gasset that is like the edge distance you can change if i want to have 40 maybe i can change from there you see that it changes the gasset plate will move i just have to do this for all the four right so that we can have same distances 40 and those are the settings for me you can go to the worlds i think this is shop i think this is the one that i was that i want for this one oh actually it has to be uh not the shop it has to be site i think i can change that one but i think i'm okay with what i have here okay so you can just play with this and just refer to the numbers it should be good to go and i'll simply close this one and you can see that i have my the gasset plate there as you can see and this is the same one which is in revit as you can see from here so you can see that the macro is similar and if you know how to use revit you can also use it in advanced still so thanks for watching make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel